Gamers on Games is sponsored in part by... Hi, this is Dennis with 3D Game Gear. We are gamers with a family-run business that specialize in 3D printed accessories for board games. We offer a wide range of items, including tokens, token cups, token boxes, player dashboards, and much more. We are always adding new items to enhance your gaming experience, so come check us out at the address below. Master Guns here. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions lately on what back blowing is. Uh, you've probably heard me mention it in prior videos and um, some of the uh, the online things that I've been doing. So uh, instead of trying to explain it in a step by step, I figured I'd just make a video and you know allow everyone to kind of really just see what it is. Um, it's a really useful technique that can be used to either mix uh, the paint in the hopper of your gravity feed airbrush. Uh, in case you guys are wondering, this is what's considered a gravity feed airbrush. So it does not have the uh, the draw tube at the bottom with a little, uh, you know, where the, the hopper, where you put the paint on the side. So it's worked right into the airbrush, and um, this is this is my preferred style. So what we're going to do is two drops of whatever color you're going to be using. In this case, uh, since I'm working on my Ion Age Retain Knights, uh, I'm using a Warlord Purple from Vallejo Game Air. I'll do a drop of airbrush, <clears throat> airbrush Flow Improver. And then two drops, or in this case, it's just a one-to-one -one ratio of paint to Vallejo Airbrush Thinner. All right, so you're going to put that in your hopper. It's going to be down there in the bottom. And then simply, you just take a paper towel. You're going to gently squeeze the tip of it there. And then, see if I can get that to focus... You're going to get the, the flow going, so it's going to bubble up in there. You want to be real gentle with the flow, right? So you don't want it to, to you know, pull right back on the trigger and get it, you know, spraying all over the place. So that's probably a pretty good mix there. Test it on the side. Okay, there you go. I see that coming out there. All right, so then we're just going to apply the base color. So the reason I'm videotaping this part as well is to show you how to use it to clean out your airbrush as well. Uh, like I said, it's a very useful technique for both, for changing colors in between, uh, um, in between applications and what have you. And again, one of the reasons I like to uh, thin my paint to a one-to-one, -one, uh, same reason uh, like adding salt to food. You know, it's always easier to add more then to take it away. So, uh, if you need to do a couple extra layers, do a couple extra layers. But it's always uh, better to, to work with a little bit and then work it up. And again, I apologize that this isn't exactly in focus. This is more of just a, uh, an interlude until I can get to uh, cleaning it out. We're just looking for a nice even coat here. Um, if you guys notice, like uh, in prior videos, I'm concentrating on the upper surfaces of the model so that the black primer that it started as uh, will stay uh, visible and provide some natural shadows. And then you just kind of start building it up on the upper surfaces again. And by the time you go through and wash it and and start building those colors up, it adds a nice natural grade to it, gradient. Okay, so that covers, uh, colors pretty, uh, pretty even there, so we're going to set that back. In case you guys haven't seen the, uh, the other picture, so this is the, uh, the end result of this technique. Uh, not cleaning out your airbrush, but just of, uh, the color scheme that I'm going to be doing here for my Ion, Ion Age stuff. All right, so... Still got some paint left in there, but it's pretty well all used out. So what we're gonna do is, um, from Blick Art, I grabbed these great little uh, spouted squeeze bottles, 
and I just put a mixture in there of uh, distilled water and I don't know a couple of capfuls of a uh, of Windex. You don't really need it too strong. And so then you're just going to take that, fill the hopper, okay, and then get your paper towel, pinch the tip of it again, and just back blow until you see that uh that bubble come up there. And so what that's going to do is that's going to use the air pressure to push the paint out of the, um, the base of the airbrush and where the needle's at and everything. Let's see if we can't center that. Okay. And just dump that in your waste basket or whatever you have to, uh, to catch the, uh, the excess. And you got to do this a couple of times, especially for the denser paint. But as you see, each time I do it, it's going to start to come out less and less. And so as less paint is in there and it's more just the cleaning solution, you can use airbrush cleaner too if you want, but uh, uh, I don't typically use that unless I'm like, um, you know, really deep cleaning my airbrush. Okay. And then typically two or three times. Um, if you're working with different shades, like if I was to uh, to do the, uh, the next, you know, layer on this scene now, uh, that's how you know the airbrush is getting pretty clean. Let's see if I can center that. Is you know it's just clean solution at this point. There's no paint left in there. So you just test it on the uh, paper towel. It's coming out clean. You know you're good to go. And uh, that's it. And so I do that in between each color. It's a little time consuming at first until you kind of get the uh, uh, the figures until you get the the pigment of whatever paint you're working with. So you get that down but in a nutshell that's uh that's what back blowing is so like just to recap uh you can use that to clean out your airbrush at the end in between colors um when you're done airbrushing for the night or for whenever you're painting and um or for mixing paint in the hopper all right guys i uh, hope this has been informative um i'm going to try and start doing more videos again the work has calmed down a little bit now so hopefully that'll uh, be a possibility in the future. I apologize. My uh, compressor kicked on there. But uh, yeah, uh, until next time, take care. Get